If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, everybody, welcome back to another deck profile. We're doing Youth Burke. So we got Full Blast from set 13. So now we can finally <laughs> use Zest in the deck again. So we're gonna be using all three of the Rebel forms from the previous sets, including Full Blast himself. In this new profile, I'm gonna go over how the deck works and the new updates from set 13. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Starting off with the right deck, we got the exact same from before. We're still running Skyfall Arms. So we got our main one from the Youth Burke Trial deck. We like Skyfall a lot in this deck just because we do have a card that procs off the discard, which lets you search for a rubble form. So Skyfall is for sure your go-to ride target for the deck, but nothing's changed. The uh, right deck is exactly the same. Great threes, we're just gonna go into the three extra copies of Skyfall Arms for Persona Ride and, you know, just, you know, being able to maximize that mostly. Then into the newest card, four copies of Revel Form Full Blast. So what Full Blast does is when you Revel Dress, you kind of blast one, perform all the abilities based on the Revel Forms in your soul. And if you have all three, you can um, add 15k to the front row. So if you have Zest in your soul, you can get a crit. If you have Gust in your soul, you get a drive. And if you have Tempest, you can take one of your opponent's rear guards, put it at the bottom of their deck. So a little bit of control, but no drawing <laughs> off of Tempest. Then, like all the other Ruffle Form cards, you put it back in your soul, rewrite Youth Burke, so that way you can Ruffle Form again the next turn. So we're running four copies because they are searchable, and this is like your go-to, you want to Ruffle Form into this or revel dress into this every turn if possible so then getting into the older cards you all know and love so we got three copies or sorry we got two copies of tempest i was testing with three before but i toned it down to two so we got two copies of tempest which uh, if you revel dress in it you get to draw some cards and maybe put um when your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of the deck then we got two copies of gust which lets you get an extra drive check so it's also good for like a win con but you know you got full blast for that and finally zest which is back so zest was the one where if you persona road you can get an extra crit um it was really slow and it's a trial deck card but now it's really good so you're gonna search that right off the back put it into your soul and then uh your full blast gets a crit for the rest of the game every time you rubble dress so that's it for the great threes that's pretty much like the whole gimmick of the deck and the rest is Support. Speaking of the first support card for grade twos, uh, four copies of Fergosa. So what Fergosa does is when it's placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with youth in its name, you soul blast one, search your deck for a revel form, put in your soul, and if you search your deck, you shuffle. If you have three or more cards with a revel form in the name, you can soul blast a non revel form card to draw a card. So it has a late game effect for the draw. And you can do this just because you need a Vanguard with youth. So you can do this on turn two. And whenever your Vanguard is placed by the Revel Dress ability, this gets 5k. So it's a 15k beater. It's just pure utility, pure toolboxing. So good. So, and that's the only grade two I'm running. I know some people are running uh, Schneisel, which I totally get, but the way I'm playing around with the deck right now, not running Schneisel, uh, just because of space. So yeah, if you wanna play around with the ratios a little bit, you can, but for now, I'm sticking with these for my grade twos. For grade ones, running four copies, of the new gal, her name is Corin or Corin. So what she does is when she's placed from the deck or she's discarded from hand, AKA Skyfall Arms, you can search your deck for a Revel form, put it in your hand, and then after you search the deck, you pick a card from your hand, put it in the soul, shuffle your deck. So basically you could use this to search full blast if you want, and then you can pick another Revel form, put it in your soul afterwards. So that's insanely good. You get this off, uh, the grade one skill, because when you ride youth grade two, you soul blast one, top three, call this from the deck. Since it was called from the deck, activate the effect. You can use it with Skyfall Arms when it's called from the deck or when it's discarded. So this card is just insanely good. And just like the grade two, full on toolbox, search whatever card you need, amazing. Then of course, we're keeping the four Sequana. So Sequana is good because it gives your Vanguard an extra drive. So because unlike Gust, where you don't have to discard, uh, Full Blast just gets it for free, you can just put this in your soul, boom, Twin Drive, free. It gets 2K if your Vanguard has Youth Burke, and uh, yeah, 
Just move to soul after you revel dress to give your vanguard an extra, or turn your vanguard's drive into one. So you have to make sure you use Sequana first, then the effect of full blast off of a technicality. Then next up for grade two is I am running two copies of the cat, our tall paths or toe paths. So when it's placed on rear or guard circle, two cards from your soul or your drop that were from the ride deck, go back into your ride deck face up. Then you can either look at the top five, call a card to rear. If it was called during the battle phase, it gets called as rest, but you're only doing this during the main phase. So it's to kind of help you search for that or the other grade two. Um, but if it's on the guardian circle, you can have a gain 15 shield, making it a 20K shield, which is also good. So I really like the toll paths because it helps you build a board and you find like your guaranteed targets that help you toolbox even more. So, and looking at top five is a lot of cards. So I really like Topaz. Uh, if I were to play Schneisel, I would drop this down to one, but I honestly think this is way better than Schneisel. So this is fine for my ratios. Uh, lastly, for grade ones, got our three PGs and our Elementaria, um, just because, you know, we got some grade four decks running around with Triple Drive, AKA Ignis, Dredjeweled. Uh, and also like coming up, we got Luard and Shiranui. So Elementaria is still gonna stick around um, for a while. So make sure you pick those up if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for the grade ones. We're just gonna skip on over into the triggers real quick, making it really, really, really simple. Uh, it's pretty much the same lineup I've been doing with Youth Burks since set seven. Four Blade Feather, four Vanilla. Our four front triggers, um, I'll pack for the extra five shield. Our four heals, um, just, you know, there's ones from the trial deck. I'm kind of, you know, whatever about the skill heals, but I'm still playing around with the ratios and trying out, you know, the other ones for, you know, different matchups. And uh, they were doing the blue OT. So what uh, Aegis Faro does is when you drive check it for, you know, OT, the additional effect is you can choose a unit, give it a crit, and then you can pick a card from your drop, put it into your hand. So if you want, you could add a revel form from your drop if you wanted to, to your hand, or whatever card you're missing for revel dress to kind of activate some skills you can do, or you can just activate a PG. It's basically just a ninth crit. So I, you know, you know, crit for game, this card's just kind of insane. So that's why we're really running it. Um, I don't really want to run Armata Noah, because you go through, you fly through this deck. Like you kind of get near deck out by the time you get to your third revel dress. So just keep that in mind. Um, but this is the go-to OT in my opinion. That is it for the deck profile, which we'll is kind of real quickly give a little tutorial on how the deck works and go from there. All right, so let's say going into your uh, grade two turn here, right? So you're just gonna discard something at this point, we're just kind of going to work with what we got right to grade two. Ideally, after you use the skill from your grade one youth, you get your top three, you find one of these, right? That's the kind of the goal here. So depending if your opponent's at grade one, I like to throw this up as a little, you know, early game rush, but uh, you know, it's up to you. So rest of you go on the bottom, skill activates. We already got one rebel form card, but you know what? We only run one copy of Zest. We're gonna find that zest, we're gonna throw that right into the soul. So that's gonna go into your hand, throw it in. Boop. And then, you know, swing with your turn if you want, or, you know, you do have another grade two that allows you to do some silly stuff. So you can throw this down, you can soul blast one, you can search your deck for a card with youth in its name. Boop, put that into your soul, and you already got two down right from the get-go. Throw that in and you're two down. Swing, go, you get a crit, because you're, you're good at this game, you know? Swing, do some stuff, go from there. Next turn, take a little bit of damage, you know, maybe guard, guard a little bit, never know. Then you get into the real fun stuff, discarding, riding into Youth Burke. Do we have any grade twos in the soul that we want to grab, or in the drop we want to grab? Maybe not. Or alternatively, if you wanted to, because you know, you're not really using Counter Blast for much, drop this, Counter Blast, put it back into your hand. Cool, you didn't lose any cards there. Then you can use Vanguard skill. Top three, hope for the best. Wow, look at that. You are so good at this game, because now you can do this. Use the skill, grab a Rubble form, 
the one you want to go into, put that in your hand, and then you put the other copy of Gus that you drew because you're good at this game early, put in your soul. Basically with whatever rubble forms you're missing, you're kind of going to search your deck and put into your soul. So if you had Tempest or Zest, you kind of do the exact same thing, but then search for the other versions. Then you're going to go ahead and do your thing. Swing a van, twin drive. Then you're going to rubble form. You got all three versions in the soul, so you can counterblast one. You get an extra drive, you get a crit, you get to put one of your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of the deck. This gets 5k, so then you get to swing with a drive check. <laughs> you're already so good at this game. So you kind of see my point with where you're going here. Next turn, do your thing, you know, take some damage. Hopefully you have better luck than me with your shield. Keeping it going, draw, persona ride. Cool, you can use this if you want, or let's, you know, start with Vanguard skill. We don't need this. Top three, add this to hand, easy. Then you can keep it going, call this. You don't need these ride deck cards where we're going, or the ones in drop. <laughs> Put those away, top five. You got options here. Now you can either go extra drive check or you can go deck thinning, you know? What we got so far, maybe we'll go with some deck thinning and multi-attacking. Could be good. Skill when placed, soul blast a card. Search for a rubble form. And at this point we're really doing it so that we can thin out our deck. All right, we're all set. Cool, and we persona wrote this turn, so we just swing. Twin Drive, Rubble Dress. Now we get an extra drive, crit, swing, a front trigger. And you're kind of, as you're going through and doing all this thinning out, you're gonna see more triggers in your deck just by the sheer fact that you're pulling out all these non-triggers throughout the game. So hopefully you're better than me and you can actually see your Sequanas <laughs> throw it down, move to soul, get twin drive off, go from there. So but you guys get the idea of how this deck works. It's really, really strong, really aggressive. It's just pops off the minute you ride to grade two. So um, if you can pick up all the pieces you need for this deck, if you can't wait till March, we're getting all the reprints. I would say for now, just to get prepared, kind of start keeping an eye on the cost of this card, just because this is the money card right here. So. You know, but this is a really, really fun deck, and honestly, I can't wait to try it out um, at locals the next chance I get. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to check out 50 Cards to pick up bundles, play sets, booster boxes, and even supplies. And be sure to check out Dragon Shield to pick up uh, deck boxes and sleeves, especially these nice outer sleeves for Vanguard that fit really nicely over character sleeves. So check out Dragon Shield for those as well, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.